All right, so good morning, everyone. My name is uh, Gina Acapinti. Oops, other way. <laughs> uh, Gina Acapinti, and my goal is to graduate with a BS in economics in 2018. And this summer, I interned at the New Hampshire Community Development Finance Authority. Now, CDFA is not a state agency, but it's an instrumentality of the state. So they are both a body politic and a nonprofit. They were established in 1983 to address issues of affordable housing and economic opportunity. CDFA administers nearly $25 million to support the development of vibrant and resilient communities in New Hampshire by providing financial resources to groups ranging from nonprofits to businesses to municipalities. In partnership with CDFA, these organizations create affordable housing, support the formation of new jobs, and help retain existing employment for low and moderate income people in New Hampshire. Uh, now this summer, I learned how to create these vibrant and resilient communities through economic development. But when I started, I wasn't quite sure what that meant. How does the state create jobs? Where does funding even come from? And how does it power communities that are sustainable and provide the best quality of goods and services to their citizens? How do you take a construction lot to a bakery or an energy efficient city hall or even affordable apartments from an old revitalized mill yard? Well, CDFA uses three main avenues of creative financing to create these vibrant and thriving communities. Their most creative is through their tax credit program, which through legislation, CDFA awards $5 million to community development projects in New Hampshire. This legislation allows businesses to invest in a project and exchange receive a tax credit. One success story is that of Girls Inc. in Nashua, New Hampshire. They needed funding to expand and upgrade their Burke Street facility in order to serve more low and moderate income girls in their Fuel Her Fire program. With a high public benefit and project readiness, CDFA awarded Girls Inc. tax credits that they sold to businesses in exchange for cash. Next is their Community Development Block Grant Program. These are federal dollars from the Department of Housing and Urban Development that power low and moderate income groups in much needed areas with grants such as public facilities, housing, and planning and emergency grants. And finally is their Clean Energy Fund. This finances energy efficient projects to create an overall lower carbon emission for communities because not every business has the funds or resources to develop energy efficient technology. With the funds from Clean Energy Fund, they can install items such as a solar thermal system in their facility. Now, this summer, I did research with technical assistance for micro-entrepreneurs, which are businesses of about five or less people. Now, the problem is they don't know where to find technical assistance, and these services are not consistent across New Hampshire. And these are providers much like Hannah Grimes or the Small Business Development Center here hosted at Paul. And they offer services like incubators, core training sessions, or one-on-one -on -one sessions with consultants. So I, after much research, developed a model of national best practices for these technical assistance providers to follow. And this will strengthen the micro-entrepreneur's ability to find and access services no matter where they go across the state. At the end of the summer, I realized how we get to these resilient communities in New Hampshire. Through CDFA's creative financing within state means, they provide funding to struggling areas, and through that produce a social and economic benefit for New Hampshire residents. While I hope to work in the private sector after I graduate, my experience with CDFA has shown me how the private and public sectors can really work together to do good for New Hampshire. I'd like to thank my supervisor, Katie easterly Marde, as well as Executive Director Taylor Caswell and the rest of the lovely staff at CDFA, as well as Fana and Fiona for a wonderful internship this summer. Thank you.